Norm Rieger here from HH Remodeling Company, and about a year ago, one of our favorite customers gave us a call because they sold one of their homes in Ridgewood and bought a new one, but it wasn't really their style, so they asked if we could help out, and we sure did. Let me show you what we've done. So designing a kitchen is way more important than installing a kitchen, and in this particular kitchen, it was a 1950s eating kitchen with a hanging swag light fixture over there and a big kitchen table and more like a galley style kitchen. So we decided to look outside the box and design this for the client. So this was one thing that we actually had to convince them to do because they couldn't visualize it. We were trying to make more space by getting rid of the eating kitchen, but we knew they wanted to eat in this room and not the formal dining room. So what we did here was created an oversized square island component we also designed the island to be a different color contrasting to the uh, row cabinetry. So here you have a wood tone, very warm feel with the island and a big kitchen table created out of countertop space. And of course, everybody loves the draw microwave. So keeping with that same design element, uh, some credits to our designers over at RWC. Uh, we kept with the warm wood feel over here and created almost like a hutch. So this can be used for serving during holidays, but we're not putting the full depth kitchen cabinetry here. We reduced the depth to allow for traffic and to make eating at the island more comfortable. But this feature looks fantastic. It looks like a furniture piece with the glass doors, showcasing wine glasses, cookbooks. This whole place really came together beautifully. Also, before we demoed this kitchen, it had some old school tile on the floor. A lot of the rest of the home was hardwood, so the homeowner asked us if we could tie new hardwood into old. Tell us what you think. So this isn't the first one of these you're seeing on one of my job sites, but almost every renovation we do now, we get asked to do one of these mud rooms with some cubbies and storage. Not everyone has to be fancy, but this one's pretty cool. Simple shelving for storage with baskets, place to hang jackets, a bench to sit, shoes, and we stain the top to have a little contrast with the paint. Practical and perfect for the space. So just outside the master bedroom of this home, I'm standing in what used to be his and hers bathrooms. Now, we don't see a lot of those anymore, but these used to be two big 1950s bathrooms with a strange corridor in between. So we brought our architect in, Chris Canzani, and what he came up with was this fantastic format where we created an oversized master suite bathroom and a great walk-in closet area. When our clients ask for an oversized shower, we deliver. They also asked for a freestanding tub and we did not deliver there. We actually talked them into this deck drop-in tub. Freestanding tubs, you need a lot of room to get around the outside of them, which most people don't realize. But in this case, the deck tub worked out perfectly. And the shower is absolutely enormous.